Hi there folks, how are you? I just came from our land today and I was having some introspection moments thinking about my state of mind dealing with all, everything that we have to do with this land now and it was, it was a, kind of an enlightening moment and the, that's why I thought I'll record this short video and share it with you because it's really it's interesting how our patterns, our behaviors, our state of mind will affect everything that we do even when we're trying to live a life in simplicity, a life close to nature. So now that we are starting to take care of this land, there's a lot of things that we're planning to do. And I have a huge list. Actually, I'm going to, to do a, a video just about this, how to plan things and just to share how, we, how we're doing it. So we have a huge list of projects that we want to start and we categorize them by priority uh, in time. So there's things like cleaning up weeds and bushes. There are things like uh, fixing the entrance so that the car can go in, fencing, planting trees, managing water, electricity, making a compost bin, everything that you can imagine. We have like 30 different projects. So this past one and a half week, I've been almost full time just thinking about this and trying to get things moving. Every day I'm calling people, I'm getting some price quotes for stuff, I'm checking materials, I'm buying tools, I'm getting ideas, researching, we've been discussing and talking and making plans, so my mind is totally absorbed into this right now. And I want to get things moving because my mind is attracted to this vision of what I see we can, what we can do there. And I want it to happen, I want it to happen now, you know? So I'm kind of trying to push things as fast as possible and trying to see what can I do in order to speed up. And, and it's crazy sometimes. I'm, I'm, one of the things I was yesterday discussing with my wife, we want to do this, this fencing around the one part of our land with trees, create like a visual barrier. And for me, trees we should plant like as soon as possible because they'll, they'll take a long time to grow and to actually reach uh, a good size and, and fruit trees to give fruit etc etc but then when we kind of look at the plan we cannot plant those trees before we prepare the land because maybe we'll have some machines going through that part and then they'll mess up the trees so we went we have to wait we cannot do anything we have to wait for the right time we have to do other things first and so this kind of steers up something inside of me my have a really big impatience you know and it's crazy because I have this pattern and even though I'm trying to create all this for the sake of a simple life close to nature you know nature rhythms etc etc and I'm, I keep doing the same thing that I do in other areas of my life where that stress is more expected and common. And I was I was reflecting a little bit about this and I remember reading again Masanobu Fukuoka and his natural farming method. And now he says that agriculture is really a way for human beings to know themselves and to grow. It's really interesting. You see, in agriculture we put the energy and, and our patterns like we put in everything else. That's why we want intensive crops and fertilizers because we want more food and we want them to grow bigger and we want them to grow now, right? It's the same patterns. And this is a big, big lesson for me. I remember my one of my permaculture instructors telling me this because I have this thing that I don't know how to wait. And, and what's great about permaculture or just farming is 
is that you really have to learn to be patient. You have to learn nature has its time. You plant at a specific time and you wait for things to grow. You cannot speed things up. And I have this really big difficulty in dealing with it because I want things now. Even though we're talking about nature. I want to see the trees growing and the fruits coming and I want to see all these plants materializing. So it's, I think this is going to be so interesting for me, all the, this whole project of this land. And I really hope to take up this challenge of learning with nature. To accept that life has its timings and I'm the one that needs to slow down. I cannot push my way through. I need to respect the timings. I need to take things easier. Even though sometimes it's really hard for me, especially when you're talking about, you know, it's not it's not just a vegetable garden. It's it's the place where we want to build the rest of our lives. So obviously, I'm I want to go there as soon as possible. But yeah, just everything takes time, and we have to learn to go with that time. It's a big big lesson for me. I only know it theoretically. Now I have to do the practical part of actually living this and, and being able to shift this behavior, this pattern in me. Because knowing is not enough. Knowing your problems is, is the first step to fix the problem. But then there is a second part which is actually being able to change So, yeah, great expectations for this whole project in many areas, including personal development, because that's, like what we said, that's the real purpose of farming, is the development of the human soul. We have to speak about natural farming very soon. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.